guys, welcome to another video. I am going to do a mani using a stamping plate from my Bundle Monster haul. And we're gonna make a decal out of it. So let's get started. I have two coats of yellow stopper on. I use this as like a makeshift peel off base coat. It works okay. I'm sure like a, a real peel off base coat would help, uh, would peel off a little bit better. But for me, I have this giant bottle, so I thought I'd use it up before I get something different. On top of that, I have white, and I have used Salon Perfect, and this is Sugar Cube. And I just have one coat on each of the nails. Around my nails, I have some liquid latex for easy cleanup. And on my pointer, ring, and pinky, I'm going to do a gradient. And I normally do my gradients with a sponge, a makeup sponge. Um, but this time I'm going to try using a fan brush. I've seen this on Instagram and it looks like it works pretty well and I haven't ever tried it. So I thought, why not give it a go? I just have a lid that I'm going to use off to the side. And the three colors I'm going to use are clean color. And this is neon aqua. This green. From also from Clean Color is Neon Green, nice bright green. And last, also by Clean Color, this nice bright yellow, and this one is called Neon Yellow. Okay, so I've dotted out some of the polish. I'm gonna take my fan brush and just kind of go at it, mixing the colors a little bit. Looks good on the palette. And then I'm gonna put the blue towards the tip and give it a few swipes back and forth. I'm going to give that a second to dry. I'm going to move on to the next finger and then come back and do a few more coats of that. Okay, there is the gradient all finished. Um, I don't know. I, I think it turned out okay. I like these two better. This one kind of got a little muddied on the end, but yeah, we'll give it a go. And then I'm just going to take that same blue that I have on my tips and cap the tip a little bit. I'm gonna add just a fast dry top coat to get that smoothed out. I have made a decal using that Bundle Monster plate with the Hummingbird. And that plate is BMS155 and that's the image I used. And I just stamped it in black. I kept it on the stamper, I let it dry, and then I used some polish to color in the hummingbird and the flowers. And I like to use this clear stamper because I can keep checking it to make sure everything's colored in. I applied some top coat on there and now that has had a chance to dry. So we are going to put it on the nail. Okay, so I'm gonna put that on my nail. Stick her down, and then I learned this from watching Sharkay's channel. She lifts up one side and just gets some top coat. So I'm just gonna do just a drop of top coat on there to stick it down. Okay. And then she lifts up that other side. I'm just going to do that same thing, just a drop of top coat. And then stick it down. Okay, there. Gosh, this has given me so much trouble today. This is round three of this decal that I've tried making today. The first two did not work out so well. So now, I'm very happy that got on there. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is just use the edge of that tweezer and kind of push against my skin and try to loosen the decal. Oh, that side's all right, okay. There we go. So now you can see it pull away. 
And that's what we want. Okay, I have cleaned up and taken off the liquid latex. And the next thing I'm going to do is add this holographic top coat from Finger Paints onto the nails that I did the gradient. All right, on that ring finger, I'm gonna apply some top coat and I am using Oh So Wet from Sally's. I find this is pretty good and it doesn't smear my polish. All right, here is the final look, all top coated and cleaned up. I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen. Please comment, like, and subscribe to see more. See you at the next one. Bye.